I don't take orders from the likes of you. Ah, Malfi one, eh? At him, lads. Yeah, he wants. Oh crap! There's loads of them. There's loads of them. Take him a bit. Die. Die. Okay, this is this is the trap. No, I'm trapped. Get away from me. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm coughing up blood. <laughs> Yo, he's made of wood. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am proud to announce that Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord has now been released. My beard is long, my moustache is short, I've waited a long time for this game and I cannot wait to press this campaign button. This sweet, sweet campaign button. I mean, I missed the beta, I kind of wish that I got on it, but never mind. We have a campaign, we have the actual game, I am so hyped right now, I'm literally shaking. Uh, honest to God, look at the screen. The screen's shaking. I'm shaking, everybody. But I cannot wait to play this game. Look, look at this dude. That is going to be me. That guy on the horse right there, look. There are those sharp eyes. That nice beard, his crooked nose. I cannot wait for this. Ah, oh, the heavy breathing starts. Okay, so choose your character's culture. Sturgeon's Empire. Vlandian's Asarai. The Cusarites, I'm saying this wrong, aren't I? The, Batani the Batanians. I don't even know why I'm saying this. I'm going to be the Empire. I bet everybody's going to pick the Empire. So I'm going to be one of those sad dudes and reads out these. We're going to be the Empire. Okay, so this is our character. Look at the graphics. Oh, dude, this looks epic. Right, okay. So we're obviously we're going to be male. We're going to rock. Rock, this is a male. Let's, let's get a tan. Here, get a spray tan. Um, can, can we make his... Uh, his nose bigger, no. <laughs> and let's uh, go for face. Okay, so I, I don't know. I kind of like there a little bit, a hint of ginger, maybe a bit more brown. That's better. We'll go for that. This is me. That is who's this? Choose my family. Oh wow. Okay, so you you were born into a family of landlords, a landlord's retainers, urban merchants. You know what? We're going for the the top one. If you click the top one, you always become a lord and you get to pick a banner. So that's the secret. Gosh, he looks. She looks very posh, doesn't she? And so, so do I. Look at me, I look Egyptian. Yeah, this is cool, right? You were born into a family of landlord retainers. As a child, you were noted for your leadership skills. Okay, so your yeah, leadership skills, why not? Let's just go for the top one. Choose your adolescence. I herded sheep, worked in the village smithy, repaired projects, gathered herbs in the wild, hunted small game. Hmm, I'm not going to be a sheep herder. I suppose that's going to put up my... I don't know my what was it my leadership skills I guess if I if I heard sheep so maybe that one yes we're gonna be a shepherd you went with the other fleet-footed youths to take the villagers sheep goats or cattle okay that sounds good to me choose your youth so okay I'm becoming a warrior so as a youngster growing up in Caloradia what was never too far away you joined a commander's staff trained with the cavalry stood guard with the garrisons Road with the scouts, trained with the infantry. Ooh. I want to be a commander. I really want to be a commander. First time playing it. This. Oh, by the way, this is the first time loading up this game, by the way. So, before you set out for a life adventure, your biggest achievement was you defeated enemy in battle. I led a successful manhunt. So that kind of makes me a... Uh, I don't know. Does that make me a mercenary of some sort? Um, ten skill. One focus point to tactics and leadership. I take it the top one's always the best one, isn't it? We're just going to go for a top one, so we've defeated the enemy in battle. Story background. Okay, so like many families in Calradia, your life was upended by war. Your home was ravaged by the passage of an army after another army. Eventually, you sold your property and set off with your father, mother, brother, and two younger siblings to a new town. You heard was a lot safer, um, but you did not make it along the way. The inn at which you were staying was attacked by raiders and oh god it's just like the first one your parents were slain and your two younger siblings seized why can't i just live a life of luxury and peace why does why does someone always have to die especially my mum and dad i mean that's not very nice you know we've just got we've just left our i don't know our bandit filled lives you know our lives full of terror and we've just come into another life full of terror so um i was subdued by a, i subdued a raider uh, you drove them off with arrows you rode off as fast as you can on a horse I'm going to subdue the raider. Let's beat the crap out of the raider. There we go. So my name, obviously... Oh, God, just wipe my keyboard. My name is clearly going to be... Uh, hmm, we're going to call him... Meet, Meaty Maper. There we go, Meaty Maper. That's my name. We're going to give it that sort of Viking 
sound to it. Meet the Maper. I forgot the one, two, three. Um, friendly troops receive damage. Reduce one to three. Very easy, very easy. Very. Do you know what? Screw it. We're going to go easy. So, let's select my family name. This is obviously going to be the, the Kingdom of Mighty. So, we're going to call ourselves the Mighty Clan. That's that. So, it's right here. Join the Mighty Clan. Like I say, subscribe and like this video. That means that you have signed up to the Mighty Clan. You're going to fight alongside me to take over the map of Calradia. What banner should we have? I'm thinking, I like a bear. I, I kind of like the mighty bear. So we'll go for that bit, that dude right there. It's kind of cool. Oh, dude, look at the graphics. It looks so cool. Right, color. Um, we're going for a red. I love a bit of red. So here we go. We're on the we're on the map, and this looks beautiful. Look at the size of it. Is it? It is the same map, right? I mean, uh, let's get that right there. Look, and uh, let's get the picture of the old Karadia. I don't know. Does that look the same? I think. I think it is. I think it's the same, maybe with a little, little bit added onto it. So if we click on the map, we can actually move around as we've got one guy. Okay, so first things first. This is what I always do in these uh, in these games. We're going to go and try and recruit some uh, some friends. So we can take a walk through the lands, take a hostile action, recruit some troops. How much money do we actually have? We've got a thousand dinars. Okay, some dinar. Uh, <laughs> take a hostile. We're going to recruit some troops. What have we got in here? We've got uh, imperial recruits. Okay, so there's only two of Crotor of Tevia. I don't get this, so wh who is this guy? And then we've got two more right there as well, so how much is that going to cost me? 80 dinars? And there we have it, so now if we look at our party, I'm guessing we should have... Oh no, we're still selected on the thing, silly me. Okay, alright, we have just got a subscriber in the background. So if we leave now, we should have five men, there we go, we've got five men. Can we check our party? How do we check our party? Can I press P? Yeah, if we press P, we can see party. So troops, we got Mithi Maper, that is me. And we've got four Imperial recruits, so I take it this is where we'll do all the upgrading. Let's say, oh, dude. They look pretty cool. <laughs> I'm really excited. This is like, I, all I'll say is that all that I played growing up was uh, Mountain Blade Warband, and also the first one. And this is just literally a dream come true playing this game. Like I say, I've grew a full beard waiting for this game to come out. Um, so what we've got here, we can recruit some troops here as well. We've got a lot more men here, so the 20 each. We've got quite a bit of money left, let's just gather as many as possible. How much is that? 160. I'm just going to go crazy, there we go. So now we've got a little mini army. Um, let's take a walk through the lands as well. I kind of want to see what it looks like when we walk through the city, or the village. I take it it's the WASD controls. Here we go. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Oh, it feels just like the normal Mountain Blades. If anything, more fluent, he moves better. I'm going to have to remove those arrows, I don't like those arrows. I I'm one of those guys, when I play this game, I like to roleplay the crap out of it. So, yeah, I like to get rid of all of the UI. Uh, hello, Traveller. How's it going? Love your hat. Can I actually talk to him? Um, there's no doubt that Suterios is a stiff-necked old goat. But you can't say he's not honest as th as the day is long. Um, I have my apologies, sir. May I help you with something? No, thank you. Good day to you, sir. Okay, there's nothing we can really talk to him about. So let's go for this vineyard. I want to speak to the village elder. We're going to see if we can get some work. Obviously, we've already got an objective to do, but I'm just going to free roam it and explore the map for this first episode. So if you guys want me to make this into a bit of a series, I mean, I'm going to be playing the absolute donkey out of this game and uh, so if you want me to record it and share it with you guys as we go along and if you guys want to uh, make some decisions on what we do next leave them in the comments because I will be reading them all. Look at this we've actually got little ducks and stuff is that a little it's a teenager hello what's over here okay so okay so we've got peasants we've got kids on here as well just Yo, it's like little tiny kids as well. What the hell? This is crazy. I mean, what happens in a siege, though? Do they like just give them a sword or something and expect them to fight? I mean, every man for themselves. They did that in uh, the Battle of Helm's Deep, didn't they? They, they? they were too small to hold the shields. This dude's carrying something. Wow, they're actually animated. I wonder if they actually do their day-to-day -day things. Okay, we've got a building over here. I take it this where the uh, 
village elder should be. Hello, miss. Okay, we've got another peasant. Do they all see the same thing? Lemion, oh, they've all got names. Looks out for the, I can't even say it. Lemion of Zestia looks out for those who have served him well. I take it that's their lord. And my apologies, sir. Okay, so you can't really speak to many people. Another peasant. I take it this is the village elder. Upita of Zestia. What's with the names? I am Miti Maper, and who are you? I am Upita. I lived all my life here, working the land as do my kin. A lot of the people here in Zestia, so the place is called Zestia, I should have, I should have remembered that. Uh, the common farmers and craftsmen like me, they like me to speak for them. Okay, I think I said that out of context, but never mind. I'll mark your name. Um, I have a quick question. Hey, what is it? Never mind. Sorry, I just like to talk. Just one of those creepy guys that likes to talk. Sorry, mate. Uh, I'll see you in a bit, yeah? <laughs> so, this is really cool. So, we've explored this little village. Obviously, I, I was expecting to bump into a village elder. He's, he's probably around here somewhere, but I'm not going to take the whole video up look, trying to look for him. So, let's go back to the battle map and see what we can do next. If we go to quests, I'm pretty sure we can actually do this quest now. So, rebuild your clan. Okay, so we're actually building up a sort of tribe here. Investigate Nuret's Folly, whatever that means. I'm saying these names so wrong. As you explore Calradia, you can learn more about your artifact and importance by asking the lords and ladies about the Empire's recent history. Okay, so you can talk to nobles. This game looks epic, dudes. Honest to God, it looks really freaking good. So, I mean, I paid like £33 for it. So, But I figured, you know, it's, it's, it's an investment for me. I mean, if I record about 10, 20 videos on it, I might make the revenue back. Unless, unless this video goes viral, if that's the case, it's took me completely by surprise, and I'm just gonna... I'll tell you what, send this video viral, and I will buy one of you guys this game. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But bearing in mind that you only get a little bit um, per 1,000 views, depending on your CPM rates, but um, I'm pretty sure YouTube doesn't let you disclose that, disclose that information, so I need to stop talking before YouTube dist destroys my channel. Uh, okay, so, um, buy products. Okay, so we can buy products from Zestia. Cheese, grain, butter. So obviously we've got a little bit of a uh, party going on, so we need to up their morale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy there, buy some grain. That should up my. No, we'll get, get some bread. No, no butter. I don't know. Sheep. We can buy sheep. We must buy sheep. Uh. Okay, we're going to buy two sheep for a hundred dot. No, that's too expensive. We're going to buy one sheep. I do not like two sheep, so we'll go minus that one. No, nope. why is it buying more sheep? I don't want to buy more sheep. That's better. I was pressing the wrong button. So we'll buy one sheep because I don't know what that's going to do. I guess it keeps the meat fresh and we can just slaughter the lamb on the journey. So Meaty Maper is on his journey. Let's go to... One sec. So that flag right there stands for the Empire. Okay, so we're still in safe lands over here. Obviously, if we bump into some bandits, we're going to absolutely wreck them so I can steal all their gear because my gear is not too good at the minute. Go and get some more dudes from Amicon. Amicon, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Recruit troops. Here we go. D oh, Danas Amicon. Okay, so let's get you, you, you. Let's get every man for himself. What's that? How much is that costing me? 160. Okay. So we've got quite a big party now. We've got quite a big party, so. Let's go for. I don't know. Let's just go to another village. Oh, is that bandits? Bandits! Looters! Kill the looters! Where are you going? Come back. Ah, oh, here we go. My first battle in Bannerlord. I've brought you guys along for the experience. Yeah, what do you want with us? Ha! <laughs> Surrender or die, Brigand. <laughs> You'll never take us alive. Alright, how much do you want to bet, mate? Okay, so send troops. We're just going to attack. Bearing in mind, I've got an army of peasants. And I didn't. I think there's 11 of them, right? I should have checked that before I started the battle. Okay, here it goes. Okay. <laughs> Men of Mighty Clan, you're gathered here today to bear witness to my victory. Bring honor to our house and let's kick some ass. So, F1, F3, charge! charge. Let's just wreck these dudes. So, what have got? I've got a spear. Does it? Does this spear like lean forward as I charge? Okay, no, it doesn't. It's good. Uh, one dead. He's dead. No, he's not. Why did my head just disappear? Wreck them, boys! Oh, dude, it's like... 
I don't know how to describe it. It just feels so much more fluent. Right. Where are you going? Where are you going, boys? Don't let them go. Don't let them escape. For the mighty clan. <laughs> this is epic. Yep. Okay. It's official. New favorite game. This channel is now a Mountain Blade channel. It's official. I'm joking. We're going to be playing some more Men of War tomorrow, obviously. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and keep all roleplay games and things like that to the Mighty Mapper 123 channel. And then on my other channels, I'll try, I'll try and upload on them. I mean, it's, it's just an additional thing if I do. But uh, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm just going to finish. There we go. But yeah, I've got two other channels. I've got, I've got Mighty FL Gaming and I've got Mighty Feels Like Whatever. And I don't really upload the, to them. I mean, they're just kind of like for me if I want to just chill. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So what stuff have I got here then? So blacksmith hammer, we'll have a bit of that. We'll have the meat, we'll have the olives. Um, I'm going to put the hood on myself because that looks pretty dope. Oh, actually. I don't, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't, oh, torn robe. Oh, <laughs> no, where's my other one gone? Uh, oh, we prefer that one. Uh, we'll have some arm wraps because that's an addition. Um, uh, can we check them? So they're foot armor 7. So let's just take them off really quick. And we're going to see them foot leg armor 7. Armor tier 2. Uh, let's have a look. Leg armor. So yeah, they're, they're much better. As for these, I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to sell them at the next place. I don't know. But here we go. So we've got 21 men. Do we get any um, prisoners? No, we've got zero prisoners. I take it I've got to level myself up. So how do I get my stats up? So that's clan. Clan is L. Meet the is the leader. Um, clan role. Scout, engineer, quartermaster, search. This is cool. Okay, so quartermaster. We're going to be the quartermaster, I guess. I mean, what 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 is quartermaster? Get the Wikipedia right up here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so um, parties, fiefs. So that's places that we own. Um, we have 21 out of 23 men alive. I swear I had less men than that. I swear we've like grown in men. We've cloned them. Okay, let's just go to this place now. We're going to recruit some more troops. Go, and then we're going to go and find some more bandits because that was fun. Over the limit? Oh, okay. I've hit my party limit. Screw it. We'll just get the maximum and we're going to leave. And keep an eye out. Let's just patrol, I guess. There we go. Got some forest bandits. So there's only four of them. Screw it. Do you know what? We're going to attack them, but I'll auto, I'll auto resolve it. Get here. Get here. And then I want you guys to tell me in the comments what you want me to do. Shall we become bandits? Shall we try and become. I don't know, a, a general of some sort and work for a faction. Shall we be a merchant? I don't know. Just let me know in the comments what you guys want me to do. Because this game looks really cool and I can't wait to continue this series to be honest. Look at his eye. <laughs> it's so epic. So yeah, what do you want to do what do you want with us? Okay, so surrender or die. Okay, I'm just gonna auto resolve this because I've just know we're gonna beat them. There's only five of them, so send troops. Um okay, we've got twenty five oh, okay. Oh, and it's a victory. Brilliant. I thought it was going to be like one of those football manager games then. Uh, Imperial Recruit. Um, what are we going to do here? Can we upgrade them? Upgrade to Imperial Archer. Imperial. Oh, yes, there we go. We still have money as well because that's what happens. I shouldn't just spam it really because. Oh, but dudes, look at them now. They've got little leather helmets. They're like Romans. Okay. Um, over the limit, you're over the troop limit. Um, you'll temporarily keep your troops, but after some time, they will quickly ban your party. Really? Why is that? Um, we're going to take that. I'm going to take the arrows from me, Sen. Uh, do we not have a bow and arrow? Oh. Okay, so we've got arrows, but no bow and, no bow and arrow. Never mind. Okay, we're just going to go and buy one instead. So let's go to a city. I've not walked around a city yet. Let's explore the city. Music's not bad. I like the music. Uh, here we go. Varagos Castle. Oh, this isn't in my land, is it? Okay. A pro Request entry. After a brief wait, the guards open the gates. Oh, okay. So they let me inside. Oh, that's good. I was a bit scared then that was at war with them or something, but we're not. So we could go to the dungeon, take a walk around the castle. So this is what a castle looks like. Let's have a look. So then after we've done this, we're going to go to a city and sell our stuff and then yes 
then the story continues. So the art's pretty good as well. And this is a castle right here. Look at that. I remember in Mountain Blade Warband it was just nothing but hills and it looked kind of terrible to be honest. But this really brings it to life. Look, there's actually a little path and things like that. I mean, dude, imagine, right, if they implement a multiplayer campaign map. I wonder if that's actually going to be possible in this game. We've got some nice anti-aliasing on the floor right there, look. Some uh, bump mapping, should I say. It's a really stunning game. For what it is, anyway. I mean, obviously, it's not the best when it comes to uh, graphics. There's a lot better games out there. But for the scale of it and for the, uh, the story of it, the fact that you can just... Be a character in this big open world. But this castle is pretty, pretty dope. I'm definitely going to have to try some sort of siege. Oh, this is cool. Let's have a look. Oh, we could go inside. What's, what's down here? Okay. I found some sort of glowing pit to the heavens. Never mind. I suppose it is in early access at the moment, regardless of it just being released after 50 years of waiting. Oh, hello. Let's speak to the prison guard. Who is imprisoned here? No one is imprisoned here, my lord. I want to speak with the prisoner. No, okay, so there's no one there, but he looks cool. Look at that. So what era is this? I'm, I'm thinking like maybe... What would you guys say? Around 900, 8, 900 AD, if it was our time? I would say so. It's definitely like Dark Ages, isn't it? Like It's medieval, for sure, but I'm thinking like pre-medieval era. But yeah, let's go, let's go back to a city now and see what a city looks like. But that looked really, really cool. So it's kind of big as well. It kind of looks like a city. But there's a city there, look. We're going to go there. I must remember to... Click that leave button. And here we are. So we're going to recruit some troops. Oh, we can get quite a lot of troops here, to be honest. Obviously, I can't recruit any more men. Uh, Timmy and the Miller. Danos the Brewer. So these are people that live here, I'm guessing. Um, trade. Okay, we're going to trade with them and sell some of our stuff. So, what do we need? We, need, we don't need the blacksmith hammer. We don't need the hoods. We don't need any of these clothes, do we? So... 76 dinars. <laughs> Should we sell a sheep? No, because I paid more for the sheep than what I'd be selling it for. So I'll, I'll try slaughtering that at the minute. in a minute. And let's go for a walk. Oh, enter the smithy. How much money do I have? Can I buy a cheap sword? Oh, okay. So does this mean I can craft my own swords? I think I can, you know. This looks pretty cool. I'm going to explore this in a later date because I am going to be playing this offline as well, so off of YouTube just so I can learn how to use it better and I'm not a total noob. Um, so we're going to go to the keep. Let's just take a walk around the town centre to see what it looks like in the towns. So this this is pretty much going to be this whole video just exploring um, the UI and the towns, the battles and uh, the cities as well. The, well, the, the castles and the cities should I say. So here we are, look. That is big. Oh, dude. We're do I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and record a um, a siege after this. and just It's going to be a custom battle, but I'll try and upload it as a separate video, I think. Just so we can see what it looks like to launch a siege on Mountain Blade Bannerlord. I just can't believe how long it's been waiting for this game. What's that? What's going on there? No idea what that blue thing was, but this is beautiful. Look at this. Reminds me of Game of Thrones. I wonder what kind of mods people are going to bring out for this game. Hello, miss. I told that silly cousin of mine, I told him, I said, you take money from Zoroth the Mouth, he'll want back double. And if you value the bones in your hands, you'll pay. I told him I did. <laughs> my, my apologies, sir. May I help you with something? No, thank you. Good day to you. So, I think uh, they've got a few dead brain cells in this town. What are they waiting for? Okay, they're lining up for something. 
What are they waiting for? So, oh, look how populated it is. This is nice. That I take it that's the keep up there. Townsmen, Empire Townsmen. I really want to know if they give swords to the kids in the battles, to be honest, because. I mean, if, if they're on here, th then again, they'd probably just send them all in the. They do a Helm's Deep, like I say, they'd just whack them all in the back room, wouldn't they? In the back end of the castle. Keep them safe. Save the future generations. So it's quite big, though. I can't lie, these towns are rather big. I'm getting lost now. Can we actually go inside? Oh, we can. Okay, I know where I'm hiding now on the multiplayer games. <laughs> okay, let's take a stroll up to that castle. This is huge! Is that a guard? A thug? What do you want? Just passing through, what goes on here? I'm just having a look, do you mind? This is how it goes, friend. This is our turf. Dude, there's actual gangs! We answer to Zoros the Mouse, and he's like the king here, so if you haven't got a good reason to be here, clear out. I don't take orders from the likes of you. Ah, Malfi one, eh? Ask him, lads. Yeah, he wants- Oh, crap, there's loads of them! There's loads of them! Take him with me. Die! Die! Okay, this is- this is the- trap. No! I'm trapped! Get away from me! Yeah, that's what I thought. <coughs> Coughing up blood. <laughs> Yo, he's made of wood! He doesn't... Yeah. That's what you get. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Go this way. See you later. Okay, note to self. Do not mess with uh, thugs. You alright, mate? How's it going? Watch out over there, there's thugs. <laughs> I really shown them I did. Okay. <laughs> I best put my sword away but just in case the guards see me or something. I don't know what's going to happen on this game. Literally, that's what I love about the first impressions of a game. You just don't know what's going to happen, but that's epic. So that means then I could go and work for Zoros the Thug. So, like I say, let me know in the comments. Shall we go and work for Zoros? Who's this? Good day to you, sir. Good day to you, too. And... Like I say, I can't get over the size of this castle. Look at the size of it. Or should I say city? Okay, there's another thug. Let's talk to this dude. I'm just passing through. What goes on here? Now then, if you're asking, we look after the honest folk here. Make sure no one smashes up their shops. And if they want to give us a coin or two as a way of saying thanks, well, who'd mind? Also, suppose someone wanted to buy some goods and didn't want to pay the customs tax. We might be able to help that person out. Also, we help out those who are down on their luck. Give them a purse of silver to tide them by. And by the way, we take our orders from Tessa Rottentooth and no one else. So that's two gangs now that we've found. So we've got the other dude, which I forgot his name, and then we've got this Tessa dude. Now get lost. I mean, there's only two of them. I'm just going to rep the other gang right here. Right, you ready for this? At him, lads. Yep. No. Teaching them a lesson. Teaching them a lesson. He's dead. I killed him. Run away. That's what you get. Where's my weapon gone? Aha. It's there. I put it away. Yes. Tell your lord Tessa Rottentooth that uh, the mighty clan is in town. I mean no harm, but cross me and feel steel. Nothing to see here, lad. Just me. Just Mighty Meeper. And now it's time to set off on my journey. My journey of Cardaradia. God, that was cringe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is let's, uh, continue our little stroll around the town. I kind of want to go to the keep and see if the uh, the king is up and about, because I need to introduce myself to his, his majesty. Where is he? So I'm going the right way. The uh, red keep is up here, I believe. It's not the red keep, it's the, the stone keep. We're just going to call it that. Um, thugs, you right, mate? Uh, I don't know if you belong to that Tessa dude, but um, your mate's over there. 
Yeah, don't mind the blood. <laughs> just jump. Whoa! See that, boys? I challenge thy to jump further than that. Okay, I take it this is the way to the Lord's Keep. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to go and speak to the Lord covered in blood. That guard's not looking. I'm just going to sneak past him. <laughs> and here we are. Lord's Hall. Here we come. The door is locked. Never mind. We'll find another way in. Or not, because those stairs do not work. But never mind. But yes, we've explored everything. It's an absolutely beautiful city. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to leave... We're gonna. I think we're going to leave it off here. And like I say, if you guys want to see more of this, smash that like button. Also drop a bomb on that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Join the Mighty Nation. Join the Mighty Clan. Um, let's make this into a series because I've been waiting for this game for so long. And I'm going to play the absolute donkey out of it. I think it's twice I've said that. Well, I don't know why I keep saying donkey. But yes, I'm Mighty Map 123. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in the next episode.